Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you have been asking me over my past makeup videos to do my everyday look, however, with drugstore affordable makeup. So I went out to Superdrug, which is a drugstore here in the UK. I picked the full range from a brand called B Makeup, and I'm gonna try and recreate my everyday natural look using this affordable makeup. So that is what's gonna be going on in today's video, so let's get straight into it. So product number one that we're gonna go in with is the B Anti-Pollution Shielding Primer SPF 30. I love to start kind of my makeup routine with a primer because my skin's very sensitive, so I just wanna give it that extra shield and layer just to protect it from the makeup. And this one I guess is good as well because it's got SPF 30 in there. So also when you do head out in your makeup, it's gonna protect you from the sun as well. So let's put it on my hand. Oh, it's white. Now I don't really like oily, greasy products. So let's see how this feels. Okay, this feels quite nice. It's very, like a thick um, kind of, oh, is it going in my mouth? And you're not supposed to eat it, by the way. So it feels quite nice on my face. Let's see if it dries quite quick as well, because I hate when you apply moisturizers or primers and they kind of sit on your skin and feel very greasy. Um, whereas this one actually dries quite nice. Let's go in now with the foundation. So this is called the Flawless Matte Foundation. Straight away, it caught my eye because it has the word matte in it. I love matte products because they look more natural on the skin. Now I got two shades here. I got N4 and W3. Now I'm sure N4 was the perfect shade for me when I was in store. So let's give that a whirl for now. However, Mm, it may look a bit dark, but let's give it a go on the skin. If it is too dark, I've got the other shade. Okay, I think that, <laughs> I think that looks a little bit weirdly gray on my skin. Obviously gray is not the look you wanna go for. So let's rewind time. Let's go in with the W3. I think that one's gonna fit my skin better. Yeah, this looks more, maybe I had more of a tan or maybe I had more gray skin at that point when I went into the store. So I'm just gonna blend this in now and then I will be back with you in a moment. Now this product's actually really good. I didn't put too much on because I like to kind of put a layer on, a very thin layer, and then if I need to build on that, you can. But sometimes you have to use quite a lot a foundation to even go around the face. This one has gone quite like, the littlest amount has gone a long way and it sits into my skin quite well. Okay, I don't think I need another layer on there. So let's go in with the color corrector now. I'm actually quite nervous about using this color corrector because I, you probably would have seen on previous tutorials that I tend to always use the same color corrector and that's from Giorgio Armani. Obviously it is a lot more pricier than something like this. However, it just does the trick. This one, I feel like it's gonna come out very orange, but it's fine because we can kind of correct it over the time with the concealer and the rest of the steps. So let's give it a whirl. As you can see, it is, you see that? Very, <laughs> very orange which is good because obviously a color corrector is supposed to be kind of like a dark orange because that corrects the, the blackness or the darkness. Um, but this is gonna be a big shock, I think. Wow. Yeah, so this is very, very different to the color corrector that I use. So I'm just gonna be very careful because I've not used a product like this before and I don't wanna go over the top and then not be able to come back from it or else I'm gonna have to wash my face and start all over again, which is a waste of time. And as my skin is so sensitive, my skin is gonna be crying for help. This one, because it's so dark and so orange, it really is covering up kind of that dark area. Okay, so now I've blended that all in. As you can see, I currently look like some kind of monster or even like a Teenage Ninja Turtle. Do you know like one of the turtles, they have that kind of colored strip across their eyes. I kind of feel like I'm the orange turtle right now. However, you are gonna see, uh, hopefully, um, that this is gonna blend in nicely with the concealer and kind of the rest of the steps. Probably gonna take a lot more time and effort in blending 
um, compared to the other one. It's so simple and you can just do it with your finger. Let's see, but I'm gonna go in with the concealer now. So this is the Flawless Concealer, again, obviously from B. Um, I went for two shades, I got medium and fair. Now sometimes if I just like a really, really kind of subtle natural look, I'd probably go in for the medium because it's obviously a darker color, so it's gonna just sit naturally under my eyes. However, I have been told that I do have nice blue eyes. So under eye, if I brighten that up with the more fair shade, then it's gonna draw more attention to that area and obviously, hopefully, kind of get rid of this orangeness as well. So let's have a look at the application. Okay, so obviously concealers come in so many different applications. I have one from Givenchy. Um, there is more of like a subtle pen, very masculine. And um, that's the Givenchy Mister range. This one is more of a liquid. Let's see how we get on. I'm gonna go underneath the eye. And again, build on this. So don't go in too heavy handed with the product because especially if you're using it for the first time, you don't wanna go in with too much because again, you don't wanna have to start your routine all over again. Okay, so already I probably went a little bit too much with the color corrector because it's still very orange around the area. However, we can correct that by just going back in with the um, foundation again. Just make sure I get the right one or I'll stuff this all up, which is not what we want to do. Oh, see, I always make, I don't know if you can see, I always make a mess with these pumps because you pump them, it's probably where the affordable part comes in, you pump them and then they just seem to fly out everywhere, which means ruining your outfit. So if you get ready to go out, don't get ready before you do your makeup, which is weird because you're probably gonna be covered in it by the end of it. So I'm just gonna go back in with kind of the foundation side now and just go back in kind of on the line area where you did the color corrector and the concealer, just so it blends in nicely and it doesn't create kind of um, a split line of corrector and concealer and then foundation. You wanna blend those in together. Okay, so I think that's blended in nicely now. Uh, we're still gonna bring a little bit of color back to the face by using now this contour and highlighting. So this is the Sculpt and Highlight Contour. Um, we're gonna go in first of all with the contour side. So I love this product to put, to put just below your cheeks and around your head and nose because it just sculptures the face. I was, thank you, blessed with a very good jawline and cheekbones already, but this product just helps enhance them more. So I don't go kind of too overboard. I like to do a bit. So, so far, talking about the product, I normally use one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a lot more of a liquid product and it goes a long way. So they're like one dot, I'm like, wow. Like that's all I need or else I get too carried away with it. As this one's more of kind of like a pen, I don't think it's gonna go kind of as far in terms of like blending. So I like to go down the nose there. I'm, as I said, I'm not gonna get too carried away on the head to sculpt the head. I look like I'm a kid just drawing on my face right now probably, but. Right, so let's see how we get on with that first of all. And I'm now just gonna blend this in around the face. It blends quite nicely actually. If I'm honest, for an affordable product, this one actually, I prefer the blending than the Charlotte Tilbury one. I do love that product. I think it's called the Wonder Wand or the Contour Wand. Um, but it's very, very like in your face. The tiniest bit, as I said, it's very dark. However, this one is a bit easier to blend and it's a lot more subtle, which is what I prefer because obviously I wanna go for more of a natural look. So obviously by putting this just below your cheeks, it's pushing your, your cheeks up and by darkening kind of my beard line in a way, my jaw, you're just kind of defining that. So I'm just gonna blend this all in now and then we'll come back to see how the rest of it looks. So I think that is blended really nicely. Again, a kind of not too much product, but it blended really nicely and quite naturally as well. Now we're just gonna go in with the other side now, which is, this is great because I've not actually seen one before that has the highlight and the contour together. Now I just use the tiniest bit of highlight um, because I don't want it to look too fake or too makeup-y. 
So I just go go above kind of where the contour went below. I just like to go above on or just above the um, cheekbones. I'm gonna try this with my finger because I don't think I need the beauty blender. Yes. This is really good. I'm very impressed with this contour and highlighting product. It blends very nicely, even with the finger. It's not too much. Like I don't like a highlighter that has too much of a shine or like a glitter to it, because obviously that isn't gonna look uh, very natural for, for a guy, if that's kind of the natural look you wanna go for, which is what I do. But this is just quite still mattifying. It has that little bit of highlight shine to it, which is what we want to kind of show those high cheekbones now. So yes, that product, wow. Kind of blew me away to be honest. I thought it was gonna be not that great, but things can shock you, they really can. Now, we are gonna go in with a bronzer. I find it really hard to find bronzers that I like. I think just because I fell in love with one so much, I use the MAC matte bronzer it's very subtle it's not too dark like i don't want to look like i've just come back from four weeks in the caribbean i also don't want to look orange uh, i feel like with this foundation kind of looking at myself in the camera i think in this light it does look very glowy but i just think that's the light because that's not what i see here just to let you know but we'll see when i go to edit the video um so yeah a bronzer i don't like to look too much so i'm intrigued to see how this affordable b1 is oh so it's just like that it doesn't look too bad it also just caught my finger in it ow don't know if you've done that before right <sighs> The brush is not here. Okay, idiot that I am, just realized that I'd put all my brushes behind me just in case I needed them. So I just walked across the room and they're actually there. So let's go in with a brush. I've just realized as well, since stopping the camera and starting it again, the, the image of the makeup doesn't look as kind of glowy, which is good. I did just move one of the lights a little bit, so hopefully you can see it doesn't look as too kind of tangerine orangey. So I'm not gonna go in with too much of this product just because I am aware that I've never tried it and it could be very dark and ruin everything. So let's just go in with a little bit. Back again where kind of you've just put the contour to give it a little bit more of a definition. Bronzer, I'm really impressed with that. I don't think it looks too dark or like too bronzed. Um, I did go in with a very small amount, but again, really impressed with that. And then the final product that I like to go in with just to tie everything up is a, sit, uh, a sitting spray. Sit down. It's a setting spray. So this is the makeup setting spray. Just kind of set all the makeup into place, hopefully hold it there as well, so then you don't go and put kind of your clothes on. I've got it all over me anyway, but then get it all over your clothes. For a start, it smells insane. It smells so fresh. It's probably one of my favorite steps, to be honest, this bit is, because it's like a nice wake up call. But that is it. That is the finished look. Let me know what you think. I'm actually really impressed with this range. I'll be linking all of these products that I've used down in the description box below. Obviously, you've seen the prices throughout the video. They are very, very affordable. I know that a lot of people in America watch my video. I'm not sure if this is available in your country. However, I will try and I'm coming over to LA very soon. I'm gonna go to a drugstore in America and try out doing a drugstore in America video as well. So just so you, if you want to see that, you can bear with me. But that is it. Let me know down in the comments box below what you think to the final look. And if you have any questions at all, please also pop them down in the comments box below. I'm happy to help. And yeah, if you are a new person watching, thanks for joining my channel. Don't forget to go and subscribe. We've just hit 50,000. I cannot thank you all enough for, uh, see, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't even get my words out. I can't thank you enough for following my journey. Honestly, it means the world to me. I'm so blessed to have you all. And if you did enjoy this video, please do give it that all important thumbs up. And guys, I'll be seeing you very shortly on my next one. Take care, see you then.